we're gonna be making a double mag pouch. Uh, take a minute to check out the cut list and get the materials together that you're gonna need. Uh, inside this pouch should be able to fit like a 16 ounce water bottle. Uh, you can fit your radio, you can put obviously your two AR mags. So there's a really good variety of things that this pouch can uh, hold. So it's a pretty handy pouch to have. The first piece we're gonna get to is the back piece. That's the 14 and a half by four. What we're gonna do to both ends is we're just gonna fold them in towards the wrong side. See, this is the outside, this is the inside. We're gonna fold them in towards the inside and sew along that line. Throughout this entire process, it's a good idea. If you burn off the ends of your thread as you go, it gives you a much cleaner look at the end and it'll keep your threads from uh, pulling out in the future. Next thing, we're gonna take this, fold it uh, inside in, and we're gonna run a stitch by a quarter inch from each edge down both edges leaving the top open. I'm going to turn this right side out. So now you're going to work the edges trying to pull that stitch we made all the way to the outside of the edge. Uh, meaning that we want this to be laying flat. We don't want it to be a poofy pouch because this is going to be sewn flat in just a moment. So try to work it so that you can start to see your stitching inside there. You want to get these corners poked out as much as possible. Next we'll work on the flap. It's the 4x18 piece. We pretty much line it up inside out and you're going to do the same thing. Put a stitch down both sides and for this one you don't need to hem the top. Now take your 3 inch piece of uh, 2 inch velcro and you're going to place it lengthwise at the end of the strap. See here is the area we folded over and this area is open. Down here on this end is where we're going to place the piece of velcro. It's always nice if you clip off the corners. It gives it a little bit better uh, fit and finish when you're done. And to hold this in place we we'll use a little bit of double sided tape. Now take one of your four inch pieces of webbing, fold it over on itself, and slide it between the end of the flap and that piece of velcro that's going to create your pull tab and that can be held in place with a little clip. Now we're making a stitch all the way around the velcro and sew that down and capture that piece of webbing. Now sew all the way around the edge of the flap to flatten down all these layers. Now we're going to prepare our straps to mount it to Molly. Take your 18 inch piece of 1 inch webbing, fold it over, leave it about an inch and a half on the top, and you're going to sew all the way down to about an inch from the bottom. You're going to make a square inside of here, sewing the two pieces together all the way down the entire length, but leave it to where it can make a loop down here at the bottom because you don't want that to be closed off. Just about three quarters of an inch or so from the very bottom. Now we can start assembling. We can take a little bit of our double sided tape, use clips if you want. We can insert the flap about half an inch down inside that pouch that we created for the back. Make sure that the, uh, the back piece and the flap are in line. Then it's going to close this way. We flip it over. And then taking our two pieces we created for the molly attachment, we're going to stick those in about half an inch also 
about half an inch from the sides, leaving about a half inch gap between them. You can see they're just equally spaced between the sides and each other. They're going to be sitting down the side there about half an inch. Now we're going to run a stitch along here, binding all these pieces together. Then just come up a little bit and run a stitch right along the edge. Now we're going to need to mark one inch increments down the back side of the pouch starting from where it meets the flap. Just mark one inch lines all the way down the back side. We're going to do it on both sides. These are going to be our marks for our pieces of webbing that are going to run across for the molly attachment. So we've got our three four inch pieces of webbing. We're going to fold over the ends about a quarter inch and between the first two marks, an inch down from the very top, we're going to clip that down. Then come over to the opposite side, fold it over to meet the edge of the pouch. clip that down. We're going to do this all the way down the side, skipping and leaving gaps as we go. Now we're just going to sew all the way around the edge, sewing those strips of uh, webbing down, and then we're going to sew right up the middle. take one stitch all the way down the middle to sew down the middle of these three guys then we're going to continue on up through the flap and that'll help to make sure the flap and everything is one homogeneous unit but also it'll help uh, get any of this play and poofiness out of the flap since it's made out of uh, two pieces of material with the seven by eight piece for the front of the pouch we're going to fold over the short edge twice we're going to be folding it towards the outside, not the inside, because if we fold it towards the inside, that might create a little lip that a mag could hang up on on its way out. So we're going to take that, and then we're going to sew it down the middle of that double fold hem. Now take the piece of loop, put it in the exact center, put it all the way up against the top, and then we're going to sew around the outside of this. So now we put double-sided tape along all the edges. We're just going to fold them all in about a quarter of an inch, except for the one that we've already hemmed. 
So now we're going to bring this over here to the back of the pouch and we're going to place it corner for corner on one of the bottom corners and we'll take a clip and clip that in and then we'll do the same thing for the middle. We'll take the very middle and we're going to clip that in the very middle. And then, last corner, we're going to come over here and we're going to go corner for corner, match those up. And clip that down. You're basically just trying to space this out to where you have about the same amount folded on each side. And about a half inch gap in the middle. Here we go. You want to look something like that on the very bottom. Now we're going to jump up to the top and we're going to pin the top edge of our pocket to where it's just below that first piece of webbing. Work our way down. And when we get closer to the bottom, we're going to do another tuck just like we did a second ago. Just tuck whatever's left and make the tuck stop about half an inch from the very bottom to look something like that. And you should do the same exact thing on the other side. Now we're just going to sew all the way around the perimeter, staying pretty close to the edge. We're going to want to take this pretty slow because you've got some pretty thick folds up in here where the material's uh, bunched up at. So you might have to sew some parts of this by hand if you don't have a pretty heavy sewing machine. So how you're going to use this molly is you're going to weave it through just like you would the other stuff. But because we don't have the little clips or snaps on the ends of these, uh, you're just going to take a piece of string, 550 cord, whatever, and after you've weaved them all the way through, you're going to take that and tie these little tabs up, up under here. So since you've got your loops there, you can just run your cord through those loops, fold them up and under, and then tie them back around themselves or tie them up to here if you want to put more tension on it, but basically just tie those up to where they aren't going to come out. And that's how you're going to attach this to whatever kit you're going to use it on.